I don't know what you are. Maybe you are a pastor. Maybe you are a worker. Maybe you are a businessman. But I tell you, by faith, by faith, by faith, by faith, by faith, the life you live will be a different type of life. A life of faith. It's a life of a prosperous person. A life of faith. It's a life of one that is at peace. A life of faith is one that has come to rest. He's resting uh, from his own labors. And God by his supernatural power is moving mountains. Is flattening mountains. Is closing rivers. Is separating rivers. He's creating dry land. Uh, he's quenching fires. He's removing floods. Maderi ikata sundelema. Handa barata silemehe. Yabari amakanda limana. Rabadie kasulimada. Hadilegede. Rota kata labidiasa. Handa libara kasovredaya. Father, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your blessing. We pray for supernatural injection of faith in our hearts. Oh, Ramahandala Bakataya. Blessed be your name who has called us and did not leave us comfortless. You left us your Holy Spirit. You left us the power of faith, the mystery of faith. May it be activated in our hearts as we hear your word, as we, we, we walk with your men of God, as we listen to your preaching, your word, as we listen to your voice through the scriptures, as we search, we search the scriptures by the illumination of your Holy Spirit. May we rise from faith to faith. May we rise from strength to strength. May we rise from glory to glory until your glory is seen in us. We thank you, mighty God. We thank you, mighty God. Somebody invited you here. You are not born again. Please don't leave this hall without giving your life to Jesus. If you want to give your life to Jesus, lift up your right hand so I can pray with you. Lift up your right hand. Anybody here? Somebody invited you? Somebody invited you? Let's all pray this together. Father, thank you for your word. Oh, Father, have mercy on me. May I not be faithless. May I, may I be full of faith. The life I live may it be by the faith of the Son of God. Not by sight, not by hearing, but by your word, by your spirit, by your servants, by your prophets. Bring me into my blessing by your prophets. Bring me into your blessing. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands. You may be seated. the word the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us and we beheld his glory glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace somebody has been healed today right now there's a stronghold that has been broken in somebody's life Somebody here, you came like, you, you know your life has been like an orthodox Christian. But from tonight, a certain supernatural breaking of strongholds and pulling down of walls around your mind have just been brought to the ground like Jericho walls. And from now, you will see the difference. I say from now, you will see the difference. On Sundays, I'm teaching on the basics of faith. Yes, the basic tenets of faith. Yeah. Because there are also some foundations when you don't have them. Even what I'm sharing on, 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 uh, on Tuesdays, you may struggle a bit. Yeah. That's why I'm teaching you on the, the, the strong basic tenets of faith. Yeah. So for we can't be struggling with small, small basenta. It's like as if we are going to die, the only 17 people are in your center. Cannot be possible. You see, these people that we see here, they walked on the same truth and founded churches when they didn't go to, they had not been to Bible school. Yes. And maybe that is where their blessing was. That they didn't go to university. They didn't finish 
A level. Some of men, some type of, they didn't finish A level. And Pia Kofi dropped out of university. Takia boy didn't go to university. Mike Lessel, I, he was on my same road, Grace Outreach. He didn't go to university. But these are the men who founded denominations, churches that are alive today, are at the cutting edge of Christian, the move, the move of God in our nation. And even beyond. And you are here. Too much school has affected your ability to believe. Too much internet. Reverend Be- Dr. Be- uh, Watson Bempa, he was in the Post Church. He went to see him, visit him. When he, he saw him, he said he, he, he had a yam. It was in his pocket. So when he's making a call, he takes the yam. He said, hey, Papa, why are you using... This uh, old tech phone. <laughs> he said, oh, <laughs> you know, the internet is very distracting. This one, no internet. <laughs> Those of us who have small, small churches, we, we still have three, three uh, smartphones. One iPhone. Top, top of the ring iPhone, top of the ring Samsung, and top of the ring uh, I, I, what that call that phone? Huawei. We have all. Vodafone, Waha, Airtel, Waha, MTN, Waha. 17 members. Every day you say you are busy. 17. It's changing, oh, because. I can see people there. Uh, ah. That's why the, the scripture says, if thou canst believe. If thou canst believe. That's the, the, this sentence must ring in your ears all the days of your life. If thou canst believe. If you can believe. If thou canst believe. That's all. All things are possible. To him that believe, if thou canst, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. If you can, oh, I'm t- it may sound like a, a kind of a con something, even if you are not careful. But if thou canst believe, eh, I tell you, believe God. Men so terrible used to stand and, and speak. He was not a pastor of a church. I'm sure the church was in his heart that maybe he would start in some months to come, but he was not a pastor. 83, early 84, mid 84. He was not a pastor. They called themselves men of God. They appropriate, accorded to themselves reverend when, when as yet no one had ordained them. I saw a seminar, they had put a seminar, uh, something teaching conference or teaching seminar at prisons, uh, prisons, they used to have some prisons uh, hall, prisons canteen, uh, prisons cantonment, prisons canteen. Ministry will be Reverend Obin, uh, Reverend Mensa Utabel, Reverend Obin Dakon, and Reverend Eric Wapon. We couldn't believe it. Said, ah, why, why did they become Reverend? How did they become Reverend? Who made them Reverend? What, how, how have they taken it? But they have taken it. They've taken it. By faith, they stood, they stood up. I listened, I heard him, him, he was saying that at that time, you don't start church, you join church. What audacity, he said, what audacity, the audacity of their faith. The day when we send you, go and start a center. You don't have faith, you just go, it's like they say we should go. So, the area, there are a lot of people there. In fact, they will come by. Do you think it is by a lot of people there? Go and see there are a lot of people there. You'll be there for five years, only five members. But you have to rise up. And the thing must come from inside. Do not, oh, we are going to do it. It's a work. Oh, we are going to do it. Oh, Bishop. Amen. Amen. Oh, Bishop, we went to, we got four souls today. Fine. But you have to have faith beyond just what I am telling you. I may encourage you.
but ultimately the faith is the life that you live is what will reflect the kind of faith that is in your heart. You can do it. Nothing shall be impossible. If thou canst believe, you will be a center when you are coming 500, 20 buses. You see them coming, 25 members, they are, who they are singing. This one is singing our God race. This one is singing Yehoah Dawase. This one is singing. The buses are coming, 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 coming. You see the people, they are streaming. Oh, see them coming. See them coming. Bishop Dark told me, we are going to start a church. Huh? Eh? There is no hall if we take follow-up seriously. He was giving me a prophetic word. I didn't even know it was a prophetic word. There is no hall that can contain our number. We will start the church. We are Sankara. We are sitting on a slab by the gutter. He said, we are going to start a church. Have you seen Central Gospel Church? I said, yes. He said, have you seen Men's Table or Ben Dakun and Eric Wapon? That's how you, T, and I will be. I will be like Men's You will be like uh, Eric Wapon. T will be like Ben Dakun. And the three of us, will, if we are united and become strong, and we take follow-up seriously, our church, there is no hall that can contain the number. Why can't you generate such faith in your heart and declare to yourself that I am a center director? By the time this year is over, there is no little room where we are meeting that can contain our number. Sometimes it's as if we are worrying you by giving you such an assignment. Meanwhile, we are giving it to you because we feel that the, the great will be your reward when you get to heaven. That's why. Well, our eyes are on rewards in heaven. Oh. In case you, you don't know that. Maybe we will not preach about heaven in a series, but that is at the, the bedrock of our faith. Is Heaven ho yen yo nyam kro Eni jebi wo ho Eradi wa she yembo Se ye vie ye ju me ya Heaven ho yen yo nyam kro Eni jebi wo ho God has promised us and when we finish, we're going to go to heaven, a beautiful place, a full of joy. Yes. That's why. Yeah, woman. Be woho. Be mushire. Fair, fair. Na ye be. Ye be who. Ye na jin kwa. Oh, ye woman. Might be war, or my fair fair, or my fair fair, oh, not the bee, ye be who Jesus, oh, oh, be ye, ye not real, oh, ye need so, oh, oh, be the fire, real, oh, ye not, oh, ye war, might be war. Jesus, Blessed hope. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. 
Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Thank you that you have made me an heir of salvation. Purchased of God. Born of his spirit. Washed in his blood. Thank you. Please take out your offering. If you are watching by Facebook, YouTube, please take out your offering. Thank you, Father, for your blessing. Ribbon my books for me. Okay. Father, what a blessing. We come to give our offerings. Let it be a blessing. I want you to take out your offering. You can give a thousand, you can give even five thousand. Offerings don't never limit yourself to even any amount like a hundred or even fifty Ghana. Allow God to lead you to plant seeds. Seeds are given harvest. Before the year has gotten to midway, blessings are being poured out in response to the many seeds you have sown. May God bless you. Add a booster to your offering, Father. Bless every offering, every hand that is given. Some are giving 50, 20, 10, 5. Whatever offering they are giving, Lord, let them be blessed. According to your word, let them be blessed. If you are paying your tithe, can you also come all the way? If you are paying tithe and you are giving your um, pledges also, you can come. Before I, I call you to bring your offering, Father, bless Everyone that is giving their tithe, bless them according to your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord bless you. The Lord help you. The Lord protect you and deliver you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you be free from every illness, disease, death-threatening diagnosis. Be free from it in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. You are blessed. Please drop your offering in the bag. And rush forward with your offering and as you do, may the Lord bless you. Jesus, thank you for your word, life-giving word. May we go from strength to strength. May we serve you in Jesus' name. Amen. Flow prayers have resumed. We are on Friday. This morning we were there. Make sure you join and participate fully. You may season four, you may never know what God will do through these prayers.
They are all seeds. Some of the things you are experiencing, good things, they are from the seeds you have sown in prayers. And God will help you. So God bless you. Um, Sunday, I don't know. Welcome, Bishop. As so many. Oh, keep clapping. What a word. My God. Hmm. You just have to get the message. And faith comes by hearing. You need to hear this over and over and over and over again. Amen. Amen. Bishop, thank you so much for <laughs> availing yourself for God to speak through you. Hey, it's a blessing. First of March, it's a Tuesday. We are going to have a one night impartation. Wow. With, with Bishop Andrei Chechenko all the way from the Ukraine. Wow. He's a white man. But he's a man of faith. So I'm going to trust God that by, the, by his coming, he's going to add on to our faith and increase. So in case this black face does not finish all the work, the white one will come and top it up. What do you think? It's going to be powerful. So start, you know, sensitizing your members. You see, some of you, you have members. You should have a strong desire that this member or this person should be here listening to something. I've got me alone, I can't do this work on this guy. And we used to have meetings. That we are going with you because like, we know that you will be blessed in this meeting. That's how it must be. When you are coming for a service, I know I don't want to go alone and just be blessed. I want to bring someone along. Okay, so next week, Tuesday, we are here. The following one, we are here. Then the next one, I believe. Hey, only two weeks, pair. Hey, wow. Okay, so next week, we are here. And then, and the next one will next be the one night faith impartation service. What do you think? Or we can say faith clinic. Yes. What do you think? So by the time we finish, you know, we can say any stronghold that is still standing, he should be ready. Because here I come. Sometimes it's not your situation that needs to change. You have to change. And then you tell the situation that he the situation here I come. You will see something. Uh -huh. And then you see that they will start packing their bag. But as long as you are weak, you are not strong, you are always afraid, you are wondering what can happen. And, uh, <laughs> no. Fine. <laughs> it's a type of song. But now we are saying that you can also change things in your life by the life that you now live which is by the faith, demonstrable. The word is demonstrable. So first March, faith impartation service, be here, it's going to be powerful. God bless you. Thank you, Bishop. Wow. So that's first March, faith clinic, faith impartation service. On the 27th of February, we have the Healing Jesus campaign service. Beautiful. So let's prepare on Sunday, this coming Sunday, let's give out envelopes, receive envelopes to give powerfully for Healing Jesus Camp, which is already, there have been crusades at the end of last year, and this year, Healing Jesus is preparing for crusades in the north. So let's support them powerfully. Amen? Amen. Then on the 6th of March, it's Rep Your Tribe Sunday. <laughs> Amen? And you see, we are not just coming to rep our tribes. It's a day to outreach. It's a day for, you see, here we have um, uh, the Achimota region. Uh, Reverend Kenate is the regional director of Achimota, representing the Guans. Do you know the Guans? 
and then I'm right here, Pastor Ima Abosi, representing the Ashantis here, and then Reverend Eric, leading the Countermen's region, representing the Ewe, the Ewes. <laughs> then Joulu, Reverend um, Neil Antikakupon, representing the Mole Dagbon tribe. And then East Legon, led by Lady Pastor Ifa, representing the Fantis. And then East Legon Hills, Reverend Francis Osebos, representing the Dagomba, Hausa, and Kusasis. And finally, Lakeside, Reverend Philip, representing the Ga Adangwis. <laughs> and to be very powerful, and we are going to invite people, and we are going to have the different foods from the different tribes featuring powerfully here. So it will not be easy at all. You have to, it, it will be very powerful. God bless you. So we stand to our feet for us to bring this service to a close. Turn to your neighbor and tell your, your neighbor that, look, I'm a faith person. Say, so look at me. Just look at me right now. You will not recognize me in a few weeks because I'm soaring high in faith. Share the grace with them. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, the communion, fellowship, contribution, participation, and the sweet influence of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you.